this past week, Andy, has been extraordinary, hasn't it? On a footballing sense, goodness me, it was a title that was over. And then it was back in the melting pot again and Tevez plays and gets his hat trick. And, oh, Inevitably. Dear, dear, and he'll get the dear. winner against United. Ah, well, he might. He might. <laughs> but I'll tell you what might happen against United, or that game. You might find that Ashley Young is denied a very, very good claim for a penalty. Explain your thinking. My thinking is, Richard, um, a difficult one for the referee yesterday. I read reading Arsene Wenger this morning, and I agree with Arsene. Sometimes it's very difficult. It's only after the event that you could see quite clearly that, you know, the players made the most of it. Now, there's a difference in my book from making the most of it and going down with absolutely no contact. And and that's the difference for me. First of all, let's 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 uh, let's be forensic then. Was there contact? Yes. Uh, does it state when awarding a penalty or when a referee awards a penalty how much contact no. there has to be? No. The, the, I tell you what, Mark Halsey's difficulty was at the weekend, uh, Richard. In my opinion, is that when there's contact like that and it's as quick as that, we can only see after the event in super slow motion, um, replay after replay, that probably Ashley Young made the contact happen. And he wouldn't be the first. No, he? he wouldn't. No, I'm not condemning him for that, right? He made the contact happen and definitely caught him with his second foot on the way over. Now, when that happens in a split second, when there is contact, then it's extremely difficult for a referee to determine who has made contact with who. All he knows is the defender's gone to block Ashley, Cole off, Ashley Young off. Sorry, There's been contact. He goes down hugely theatrically. Hugely. I think this was more of a penalty, in my opinion, than the one last week against Sean Derry. But what's going to happen now? He's going to get himself a reputation. And Mark Halsey had to make that decision on what he saw. And I think he made, again, an honest... And, and I thought at the time, I'm thinking, that's a penalty. Mm. I really was. Well, have you changed your opinion? Not is really. It, is Not it a really. penalty? It's, it's usually soft. Let me put it but, that but way. Is it I know, a I know, and everyone's going to say that isn't. And this is what people have to remember. It doesn't state in the laws of football that there even has to be contact. It only says there has to be intent. Andy, I'll give you the example that we use many times. I know. You, you can't be a little bit pregnant. You yeah, either are yeah, yeah, or you're yeah. not. Was it a penalty? Yeah, I thought it was a penalty. There we are. Yeah, I is thought Ashley it made Young, a penalty. Is well, Ashley Young the here's, here's the deal. that he has been painted yeah, this morning well, I by hate, most I hate that word, Richard, so because, because in football I terms... I think it's outrageous. Uh, everyone, everyone bends the rules to try and win a corner, win a throw-in. When the ball goes out for a corner, you're not sure it's a corner or a goal kick. If you're but, driving at 40 miles an hour in a 30 mile an hour zone, are you mm -hmm. a cheat? No, you're taking advantage of the rules. You, well, you, you push them to saying. the maximum, don't Everyone you? Everyone pushes them, especially in a sport like this, when the when the, the, the you know the, the success rate is, is little and success is so valuable to all the teams. Yes, you'd, of course you're going to push it. And there's a difference between what happened with Ashley Young and, and others who go down with no contact made at all and who just abuse the system. Was Michael Owen cheating when he fell over against the Argentinians? Well, yes, in many ways. But I hate the word cheat. Was Steven Gerrard when he fell over well, to Well, listen, don't ask me about cheat. I hate the word. I've told you before. Well, that's what I'm saying. I think it's. I. I don't think. I don't think we should. Uh, we should bandy the word around as easily well, as we do. And I don't say, think well, Ashley Young cheated yesterday. Right then. Um, was Was uh, John Terry cheating because he claimed for a goal yesterday? Well, exactly. Was he? Uh, have keepers, those who hold the ball back from behind the line. I give you the example, um, Roy Carroll at uh, Old Trafford, yeah. of course, and Spurs were victims that day. Was Roy cheating because he said, uh, in effect, that didn't cross the line. Yeah. Picked it up from well, the yard behind saying. and carried Everyone on. Everyone bends through. But let, let me just go into Ashley Young. And I think the problem he's got now is that he's going to, he's going to have a situation, and it might be against Manchester City, and it might be at the Etihad, right? When he goes through and he's in the box... And there is, uh, there is blatant contact, and it's a penalty, and he's not going to get it. Mm. He's not going to get it. Why is he not going to get I it? And I can understand why. Why? Because referees are made aware. Listen, are you telling me that referees this weekend, Richard, won't be talking about this when they get to the of seminar? Not. What, what, I, what I expected you to say was because referees are human. only human. Yes. Correct. They keep telling us that. They're only human. So, of course, they're going to be influenced by what they've seen. And two very, very suspect penalty kicks in two weeks on the, with the same player involved, with elaborate uh, falling to the ground, um, extravagant um, use of his body. So as body. much as we believe, and we do, that decisions are made honestly, yes. and that is always the case, there will in the back of somebody's mind be those two incidents. Yes, there has to be. Otherwise they wouldn't be human. Mm. Otherwise they wouldn't be human. And I think that, that's Ashley's problem in, at the moment, and I think Fergie's very aware of it. And he's got the best man, actually, to just sit him down and say, listen, mate, 
we need to be careful here. And if you were on the coaching staff at Manchester City, would you make that point prior to the game? I think that uh, you don't have to ask me that. <laughs> Do you? Uh, I don't. No, no exactly. Um, from Villa's point of view, the sadness was the capitulation, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A young side again, very young out there, and it made mistakes. Young players do make mistakes, and you know the, the penalty didn't help. You know, seven minutes in, uh, and you're one down at Old Trafford, and, and you're you've got a team that's it's very very young and inexperienced at this kind of level. It, it kind of was inevitable, Richard. It was going to be that kind of scoreline. 